Hey guys, thank you for joining me in this episode of 9XM Soundcast, India's number one music podcast. I want to thank our wardrobe and accessories partner, Kiyayo, the true spirit of Kutch. Now, Kiyayo is a new lifestyle brand all the way from Kutch. Their fabric is natural and sustainable. What I truly love about this brand is their mission to empower the rural women and artisans of Kutch. Kiyayo's workforce, including the board members and staff, consists of more than 90% of female employees. So do check out their website. Their link is given below. Give it a try. Thank you for joining us, heartthrob of millions, if I can call you, Arman. Hi. Hi, Eva. How are you? Hope you're well. I clearly remember me and Amal were part of the initial uh, episodes. And uh, I'm glad to be talking to you after, after that time. Uh, we have a lot to catch up on. Absolutely. And, you know, I have to congratulate you Then you have been super, super busy even in this entire, you know, the, the year of pandemic and lockdown. It has nowhere, you know, stopped you as an artist with Vehem. Tell me how this entire roller coaster year has been for you. It's been a landmark year for me in many ways. Uh, 2020 has been the start of a very new and a different journey. Uh, I introduced a very different Arman Malik to my fans in the first half of the year with my English song Control, which was my first debut single in English. And uh, uh, it's, it's amazing to see the response that it got. Uh, I was a little nervous because I was in my comfort zone. Se kuch bahar kar tha. Mm-hmm. And uh, for people to accept me in this new avatar, uh, I didn't know how it was going to go. But it went beautifully. People loved it. Uh, I was uh, fortunate enough to be, uh, you know, the first Indian singer to be presented at the Times Square uh, billboard in New York uh, for my single control. And uh, after that, multiple things happened. Um, I released a song called Next to Me, which topped the billboard thriller charts. It's just been nonstop for me this year. And I, th- I, th- I think I'm, all I want to say is I'm grateful and blessed for all the opportunities that I have uh, you know, gotten this year. Uh, This year may have probably been one of the most toughest and the saddest years of humankind overall. Uh, To have had such a remarkable year in such times, I think is a blessing. Uh, I think God is really, really looking out for me. He is uh, uh, guiding me and helping me in so many amazing ways. Uh, If I didn't have the the support from upstairs. So it's, it's been a mad year for me in terms of being not only English, I, I did um, I did Telugu songs, I did Tamil songs, I did, um, I got a chance to sing for some uh, stream, uh, OTT platforms as well. And uh, I released a lot of singles, this year, a lot of songs this year, yeah. across genres, across, um, across languages. Mutta Boma became a viral hit. Yeah. <laughs> So uh, it's, it's amazing to be able to reach people and touch people's hearts in different languages. You know, I have not kept myself limited to just one, one language in one uh, lane. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm glad that I've gotten to experiment and uh, my fans get to see a different version of me in different, different, in different things. Bilkul, bilkul. Or hum jaldi hi, you know, naye saal ki shuruaat karne ja rahe hain. To hamare listeners ko aur hamare viewers ko aap yeh batayein, Arman ki kis tarah se aapne apne andar ki jo yeh yeh jo passion hai aapke andar ka jo jo fire hai, usko aapne you know bilkul you know ekdam barkarar rakha in this entire year. You know, in spite of despite all the limitations and all the you know problems. So how did you really uh, get yourself going? What are the kind of thoughts, uh, you know, negative and positive that were running in your head, uh, you know, this that entire year? I think um, the first few months were very tough because initially we were all thinking, where is the year heading? Uh, what are we going to be able to do? Can we release the songs? Can we videos? Uh, shows to matlab bhool hi jao concerts to kar hi nahi sakte hain uh, live ja ja ke hum bore ho gaye the thak gaye the uh, online after a point it was not making sense at all so there was this phase of not knowing what was happening where are we headed despite all of that i think 
I channeled some positivity inside of me, जहाँ पे मुझे लगा कि यार, you know the world is going through so much. इस टाइम पे अगर मैं खुद भी हार जाऊँ और मैं खुद सोचूँ कि यार मैं म्यूजिक नहीं निकालता हूँ, then it would be unfair because I feel as an artist it's my job and it's probably my biggest motivation to make people happy through my music, make people feel things through my songs and so many fans actually messaged me to this day that you know if you hadn't released all the songs that you released in 2020 I don't think I would have you know made it past this year I wouldn't have uh, you know come till December 2020 I don't know how I've come from from March to December so smooth only because you've released amazing songs for us and that makes me feel so amazing because if I had, hadn't done that a lot of people wouldn't have that uh, you know, sometimes music can be your best friend. Kafi log ye kehte hai, aap ne suna bhi hoga ki, jab aap akele par jate ho, jab aapko, you know, loneliness hota hai, to ek hi friend kaam aata hai, wo hai music. So, if I hadn't released those songs, I don't think my fans would have had that friend during lockdown to be with them and help them get through this tough period. So, I think that was my motivation, the fans. Making them happy, making them smile, making them have a beautiful year. Uh, abhi, abhi ki, yaar, haan, now I can breathe uh, and now I need to take a vacation because from March to December it's been non-stop for me. Non-stop. Mainne, ek bhi din mein ruka nahi. I was doing a lot of stuff. Probably just two weeks I must have taken a break somewhere in between from work stuff. But otherwise I was just doing music, 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 videos, shooting, everything from home. Uh, it was getting a little frustrating. I was very angry tha, stress bhi tha. But overall, it's been such an amazing year. Now I think that you should take a vacation. Absolutely. And even for Amal, like, you know, he released his Amal first. <laughs> Actually, this year, I debuted in English music, in international music. And Amal debuted as a singer. So, I think it's, it's been a remarkable year for uh, the Malik family. Both of us have... And Dabu no, sir. And Dabu sir. And Kamal music. How can we forget Kuch Khab, which is uh, such an amazing, beautiful One song. One of my favorite, Papa, favorite songs of this year. Papa launched his uh, NWM Entertainment, which is his own uh, label, his own channel, and releasing non-film songs and that. It's beautiful how all of us have done our own thing and uh, it's all been in this year. So a lot of people say, Ki, yaar, re, matlab, ye saal itna acha nahi tha. But I, I think of it in a very positive way. It's taught us to do new things, innovate, nai nai cheeze karna. I don't think that if this year, just the way it happened, just the way it is, if it doesn't happen, hota, I don't think any one of us would have worked so hard and brought out so many songs. I think it was pressure to do something, to do something, to do something. That's why I think we can do so many songs and release them. And you can reach them to the point of view. And you can reach them to the point of view. Bilkul, bilkul, Arman, I think uh, time ho gaya hai ki we hear some beautiful notes from you. I think I would uh, request you to uh, sing a few lines of uh, any of your favorite, uh, you know, songs from the movies. Maybe uh, the one from Azhar, it's like my all-time favorite. Oh, I think there are so many songs, I can't really choose one song. Actually. But I have a request Dali we can sing. <laughs> इतनी महाबत करना मैं डूब न जाऊं कहीं वापस किनारे पे आना मैं भूल न जाऊं कहीं देखा जब से चेहरा तेरा मैं I 
वाओ मुझे लगता है कि आपने गिटार उठा ही लिया है एंड यू नो आई रिमेम्बर अमाल टॉकिंग अबाउट यू नो द सिंगल मैं रहू या ना रहू हाउ ही हैड यू नो केप्ट हिज यू नो योर ग्रैंड फादर इन हिज माइंड यू नो वेन ही वॉज कंपोजिंग दैट सॉन्ग एंड वेन you know the memories that you both have uh, dabbu sir shared such beautiful things about how you uh, guys have been fortunate to have uh, you know sardar malik saab as your granddad and how he has you know actually uh, passed on his legacy of music so dedicating uh, it to your uh, dadu jaan i think uh, arman ho jaye main kya kahun matlab uh, i think hamari jo bhi musical टैलेंट्स हैं जो म्यूजिकल जीन है वो हमारे दादा से शुरू होती है श्री सरदार मलिक लेजेंडरी कंपोजर इन्होंने उन्होंने इतने जेम्स बनाए हैं हमारे इंडस्ट्री के लिए बी एट सारंगा तेरी याद में और ए हमे दिल क्या करूं मैं आ, मैं गरीबों का दिल दीज आर सच क्लासिक्स इन हिस्स टाइम इन सिक्सटीज एंड to be able to say that i am sardar malik's grandson is itself such a big thing for me uh, i'm so glad that that blood runs in me wo jo ek musical legacy hai main aur amal aage leke ja rahe hain and main rahu ya na rahu bahut hi special hai kyunki hum dono ne ye gana banaya hi us perspective se ki we want to dedicate something to our grandfather who's no more with us unme एक्चुअली इस गाने में उनकी एक सोल है इस रीजन से ये गाना इतना सक्सेसफुल है इतना इमोशनल इस एज में क्लासिक बनाए नो वेरी रेयरली इन द रीसेंट टाइम्स हैव पीपल रिलीज सॉन्ग्स व्हिच आर टर्म्ड एज क्लासिक्स नाउ पीपल आर कॉलिंग मैं रहूं अ क्लासिक एंड दैट्स सच अ बिग थिंग बिकॉज़ आई फील वो गाने की सोल जो है वो वो दादा से जुड़ी है कहीं पे एंड उस रीजन से लोगों को इतना प्यार लगता है उस गाने से लोग रिलेट कर पाते हैं उस गाने से अलग अलग तरीके से अपने ग्रैंड पेरेंट्स के साथ अपने पेरेंट्स के साथ अपने लवर्स के साथ आप किसी भी तरीके से आप उसको रिलेट कर सकते हो नो वो बंधन नहीं है उस गाने में आप कोई भी अपने लाइफ में जो मोमेंट्स है आप उसको याद करके वो गाने को अपना बना सकते हो सो दिस फ्यू लाइन ऑफ मै रमिया नार किसी रोज बारिश जो है समझ ले कुछ कहू सदा सुनते रहना बस इतना तुमसे कहना बस इतना तुमसे कहना बस इतना तुमसे कहना बस इतना तुमसे कहना beautiful thank you thank you so much arman uh, talking about your uh, you know love for melody jaisa ki maine kaha ki that has been your signature uh, you know style uh, the romance and melody in your voice and i mean you have you are gifted with that um, uh, you know that rich melody uh, so uh, talking about uh, your latest single uh, with t series vehem uh, so tell me about uh, the journey of creating uh, this beautiful uh, romantic well uh Uh, the early months of lockdown uh, march april may usi dauran pe i got uh, a call from bhushan ji saying that i have a very beautiful song called vehem and i want you to listen to it and bas that's all he said unhone kuch nahi kaha ki hum ise film mein release kar rahe hain non film gana kar rahe i heard the song i called him immediately and i said i want to record it today बहुत ही रेयरली होता है मैं जब एक नया गाना सुनता हूँ तो मैं बहुत क्रिटिकल होता हूँ हर हर चीज के साथ मैं सोचता हूँ ये गाना करना चाहिए नहीं करना चाहिए 
दिस सॉन्ग वॉज श्योर शॉर्ट वेन आई हर्ड आई न्यू दैट ये गाना फेल नहीं होगा बिकॉज इस गाने में जो मेलेडी है जिस तरीके से विराग सर ने इसे लिखा है ही इज अ राइटर ऑफ मैं रहू या ना रहू एंड तेरे मेरे सो इट्स अमेजिंग लेटेस्ट इवन तू तू मेरा नहीं है मेरा नहीं Uh, उनके साथ कोलैब करना एक अमेजिंग रियूनियन सा था और मनन भारद्वाज जिन्होंने इस गाने को कंपोज किया ही इज अ न्यू कंपोजर आई प्रॉब्ली थिंक आई थिंक ही इज न्यू बट आई आई फील लाइक हीज डन सो मच वर्क बिकॉज विच वेंट अन नोटिस्ड बट नाउ इट्स इट्स कमिंग टू द फोर आई थिंक सच टैलेंटेड म्यूजिशियन नीड मोर एंड मोर अपॉर्चुनिटीज लाइक दिस एंड मोर एंड मोर अमेजिंग सॉन्ग्स टू कम आउट बट आई एम सो ग्लैड दैट Uh, I've got to work with a composer like Manan. Uh, it's a beautiful song, Vehem. Uh, not I'm not saying this because it is my song. I ये इसलिए कह रहा हूँ क्योंकि as a lover of music, when I heard the song, uh, I just I could relate with every word. I could I just felt every melody. And you know how I am. मुझे yeah. melody अगर एक बार सुनाई दिया कोई भी गाने में तो मैं उस गाने को नहीं छोड़ता हूँ सो वह इज लाइक चाय में जब आप बिस्कुट डुबोते ना पूरा प्यार वाला जो चाय होता है तो आई थिंक वह इज दैट दैट बिस्किट इट्स फिल्ड विथ द लव एंड ड्रेंच्ड इन लव एंड ड्रेंच्ड विथ सैडनेस ऑफ लव इज वेल एंड द सैडनेस ऑफ अनरिक्वेटेड लव सो आई थिंक कुछ ज्यादा बात नहीं करना चाहिए आई थिंक आई शुड जस्ट सिंग अ फ्यू लाइन सो यू वुड अंडरस्टैंड व्हाई आई एम प्रेजिंग वह एम सो मच आई ऑल्सो फील इट्स माय कम बैक टू माय होम होम टेरिटरी ऑफ मेलोडीज बिल्कुल बिल्कुल सही कहा अभी तक मैं वर्ल्ड टूर पे था इंग्लिश गाने गा रहा था मैं अभी वापस घर आया हूं क्या बात है व्हाट अ होम कमिंग लवली या सो दिस इज अ फ्यू लाइन Wow, beautiful and and such lovely lyrics. I'm sure every every uh, you know heartbroken lover would relate with uh, the lyrics and uh, the way you have sung. And uh, Arman, talking about your style of singing, uh, we all have noticed that you have never never uh, tried to you know kind of. you know follow or ape anyone or you know and, and you have always maintained that you know you and amal uh, even while creating uh, songs that you guys have uh, you know uh, always wanted to uh, create original uh, music and remain original to your true self you know be honest to your true st- style of singing so what would be your message to you know uh, aspiring uh, singers and musicians uh, specifically related to you know you know not following the trends and always trying to experiment or being true to yourself a lot of uh, a lot of young singers uh, often message me on social media saying ki so i want to become a singer like you and i just tell them ki don't become a singer like me become a singer like you wow that is my one line to all the young singers out there हम सब ये चाहते हैं कि यू वांट टू बिकम सी वी हैव आइडल्स वी हैव इंस्पिरेशंस आई हैव आल्सो हैड सोनू जी वाज माय बिगेस्ट इंस्पिरेशन बट आई नेवर सेड और नेवर फेल्ट ओ आई वांट टू बिकम अ सिंगर लाइक दैट पर्सन आई वांट टू 
definitely achieve the kind of things that he's achieved and be an amazing singer like the way he is but i don't want to be like him because if there's someone like him then you might as well go for sonu nigam why would you go for someone like him it's as simple as that uh, that is my perspective on things so i always tell young singers ki aap apni khud ki ek awaaz dhoondo kafi singers main aaj matlab jab sunta hu a lot of them have this um little feel of arijit singh in their voice which uh, i i i completely understand i am a big fan of arijit myself i know and uh, i often used to tell amal ki you know whenever you recording arijit let me come to the studio i want to learn i want to see what is he doing in the studio i want to i want to see ki you know the magic kya hai wo guy thing in that i can imbibe in my of course but maine kabhi bhi ye uh, ye nahi kiya hai ki i have borrowed or copied someone's uh tone you know i think it's very important for a singer to have their own individuality their own tone uh yeah. there is a reason why there are so many unique singers a uh, sukhvinder singh has his own tone a uh, amika singh has his own tone yeah uh hani singh a baksha they all have their own vibe uh cool. arijit singh's voice is different jubin notial's voice is different you know so there is a reason why some singers tend to stand out and the reason for that is because they have their own voice that's why you see a lot of people ask ki why are only few singers famous or why are they only popular there's a clear reason for that people do not want to hear they will appreciate you for your singing correct because you sound like someone that they have heard and they love correct but wo kabhi aapko wo place nahi denge that they give to other sing the the other big singers because they made their individual identities in the market as them you'll never ever be be like oh jubin notial sound like arijit singh or arman sound like arijit to so arijit sound like some xyz wo kabhi aapko nahi milega because everyone has their own unique identity mm-hmm. and i think that is the most important thing to uh, you know for young singers to understand uh, ki okay you like a singer learn what they're doing which is good and put that into your singing apply it but don't change your voice your your original texture which god has given you is your texture protect that make that your voice and be you don't be like someone else wow wow superb thank you so much arman lastly uh, the question uh, that you know any any um, new year uh, you know if we can call it resolutions or any new year uh, dreams that you have any plans that you have that okay in the new year i am going to be you know preparing this or doing this honestly i think the the biggest plan i have right now is to have a vacation <laughs> <laughs> you <laughs> deserve it very honest and very straight up with you maine pichle 8 9 mahine mein itna sara kaam kiya hai that i uh, which is a blessing i'm i'm so glad yeah, that i got to do that that work बट थोड़ा सा एक मेंटल एग्जॉशन हो चुका है एंड फिजिकल एग्जॉशन ऑल्सो बिकॉज बैठे बैठे घर पे इज ऑल्सो वेरी एग्जॉस्टिंग सो आई वॉन्ट टू गो आउट आई वॉन्ट सी अ बीच सी अ माउंटेन टेक इन सम फ्रेश ऑक्सीजन एंड देन कम बैक इन टू ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी वन सी ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी एक्साइटिंग हेयर फॉर मी मैं बहुत सारे अमेजिंग कोलेब्रेशन करने वाला हूँ विद आर्टिस्ट अभी तक आपने काफी मेरे गाने देखे होंगे दे ऑलवेज सोलो सॉन्ग्स they never been like collabs with different artists and i want to try and see what what i can bring out there with a collaboration with another artist kyunki it's always good to do something with someone else and see how that goes because you never know what what are the possibilities you might just collaborate with someone and create a everlasting song so i'm looking at doing some really interesting uh, hindi collaborations some amazing uh international collaborations from wow. singers from different countries uh and uh, obviously mere regional gaane mere playback jo gaane hain wo to aate hi rahenge and hopefully i get to do some shows and concerts which have been stopped in 2020 2021 mein i want to do some concerts and uh, meet my fans bhale from a distance yeah. but i would uh, love to interact with them and sing live for them one thing that i always uh, you know wanted to ask you is that how do you handle the the immense uh, you know 
crazy fandom that you have you know how do you handle that uh, you know as an artist uh, what would be your uh, you know personal uh, thing that you know it's so easy to get deviated and you know get you know totally uh, blurred with all the love that you keep getting on social media and you know there are crazy messages that i keep on getting that aap arman ke sath kab kar rahe ho baat and you know people uh, love uh, you you know that and tell me how do you handle this see there are a lot of people who ask me this question ki you know why has some success gone to your head yet yeah. like given the amount and volume of success that you've had given the amount of girls that are crazy after you um my one thing is like i tell them that agar hona hota pagal success ke sath abhi tak ho jata hu uh but it's not happened and i don't think it will ever happen because i'm a very different kind of person uh i've been brought up very differently my dad has trained me uh very specifically for this industry and i don't think that training is going to go away uh ever um unki ek advice hai jo main apne sath life long rakhunga which is not to be too humble not to be too over confident just be same kafi log over humble bhi hote hain kafi log ko zyada attitude bhi hota hai my dad told me just keep your head on your shoulders your feet on the ground and be sane that's it just do your work make people happy uh do your karma which is most important and everything else will follow just don't don't need to get uh bedazzled by your own success jo mujhe kabhi hua bhi nahi hai main apne aap ko kabhi wo kabhi khud ko socha hi nahi hai ki oh arman bane i never thought of myself in that way i still consider myself as a a young boy doing music and uh, spreading love through my songs that's all that's my main thing my main intention and usi reason se i think probably i've been able to control and uh, bring myself this far without having uh, any deviation and without having any uh, probably pagalpan as they say yeah yeah <laughs> the superstar in your head yeah yeah so normal but thank you thank you so much arman you have you are always a pleasure you know just listening to thank you so much for having me i think it's a beautiful uh, it's always beautiful to talk to you uh, in depth about my songs about my life my journey and uh, through you a lot of fans get to know about me and what my thought process is so i'm really glad uh, that we get to do this um, let's make it more often uh, i'm not happy those many long gaps that we have had uh, but it's beautiful to catch up with you and i hope that uh, this year ends beautifully for you and for all our listeners and viewers of uh, soundcast thank you thank you so much arman merry christmas and a happy new year lots of love let's make 2021 an amazing year wow thank you so much bye bye <laughs>